Hello and welcome back to Grassroots Crypto. In this video, I will be doing a walkthrough of BEPSwap, specifically swapping, staking and withdrawing. If you're not sure about BEPSwap and the concepts like a liquidity provider, liquidity pools, staking, swapping, withdrawing, have a look at this video up here for a full run through of the concepts. In this video, you will need a BNB wallet, which you can get from Binance.org, and you'll need to send assets to it to start the process. If you don't have a wallet, you can go to here and follow the process to create your own wallet. I have prepared a new wallet with three BNB and approximately 5,000 Rune. I'll be swapping Rune for BNB, then staking both symmetrically. Let's get started. So I'm at bepswap.com and I'll click try now and that'll open the chaosnet.bepswap.com portal. As a bit of an overview, on the top left, we have the total pooled or the total assets under management, total value, uh, $32 million approximately. Um, then we have the total volume, and that's gonna be how much has been traded. We have the total users, so the total users of, of BEPSwap. The bonding APY, which is kind of like the uh, annualized return on investment for node operators. Then we have the liquidity API, which is again, uh, approximately the annualized uh, return for liquidity providers. And obviously that will change from day to day. Then you have the total earns. So that's the amount that's been paid out to liquidity providers. Down the bottom, you have the, the different pools, um, as well as the name of the asset, the symbol of the asset, otherwise known as the ticker. We have the price, the depth. Then we have how much volume has occurred within the last 24 hours, so how much trade. And then we have the approximately API or, or the rate of return, yearly return. Again, which may change uh, depending on, on various factors. Also, there's a search um, bar if you wanted to go ahead and search for something specifically, like you want to find um, Trust Wallet or, or something like that, it will search for you as well. That's particularly good if when this list becomes uh, quite long. Everything is denoted in US dollars. You can change that to BDC if you want to depict, say, the depth in BDC instead of US dollars. I prefer it to be in US dollars as that's something that's a bit more relatable to, to myself and most people. Right, so let's uh, connect the wallet. So you go to add wallet, then uh, you can add through a key store file that you've created or connect via Ledger Wallet Connect. I'm gonna be doing a key store file. So I've uploaded my key store file and I'm gonna paste in my password, click unlock, and here it is. So this, little button up here shows me my transactions. And since this is a brand new wallet, there are no transactions. And if I click on this, this will show me the address and the assets that I have available to me and any pools that I'm currently staked in, which of course I'm not, because this is a brand new wallet. So from here, I can uh, manage the pool, which is adding for the first time or adding additional or withdrawing and we'll going through that process, or I can swap. And here I want to be able to swap Rune to BNB, or you can even do the vice versa. You can swap around or, or even you know, select what you want to select. So I'm going to swap 2000 Rune um, for the equivalent amount of BNB, which is about 44 is telling me. And I'm doing this so I can get more BNB for when I stake. So there's a small fee of BNB plus one Rune. You absolutely need to have BNB inside of your wallet in order to do any transactions. The system will tell you that you haven't got any BNB and it will not allow you to swap or stake or do anything. You do not have any BNB in your wallet. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap that and you have to paste in your password for every transaction. Great, there's the message. Now we can close that and if I click this, you'll see my balance has now changed. So let's go back and I wanna to go to manage so I can stake. So here I'm going to be uh, symmetrically staking BNB and Rune into the liquidity pool. I don't have anything staked, so I don't have any, any information on that um, to display. So I can stake you know, 50%, 37%, whatever, 62%. I'm gonna stake a lot. So that's approximately $1,300 each side. Um, that would give a total value of, of, of the $1,300 combined. So what's that about? 2,600. Oh, just to note, there is a, um, a small fee involved for this. Let's go ahead and drag and do this. And of course, I have to paste in my password again. And then we just sit and wait until we get that uh, transaction is completed at the top right again. There it is. Happens really quick. Now, if I go back 
I have now successfully staked inside the liquidity pool. So if I go to the top right, you can see my assets have reduced. Now if I go to pool shares, I've now got about $2,600 inside of the BNB pool. Right, so I'm gonna click manage here and you can see my staking information um, is shown here. So this is my liquidity units. I've got a 0.03% of the pool. This is how much BNB I have and this is how much rune I have and I have the total value. The BNB amount and the rune amount will change depending on price, but that's probably a subject for another video. But here I've staked. If I wanna go ahead and withdraw, I can just go click the withdrawal tab. Um, and then the process would be to select the amount I wanna withdraw and then slide the withdrawal part. But obviously I can't do that because there is a 24 hour cooling down period. So you can't just like stake and withdraw continuously. If I wanted to get more information on, on the pool or, or any other pool, I can just click on the pool directly and it will show me information about this liquidity pool, how much liquidity there is, the volume, the members, similar to what was on um, the previous page, just a bit more, bit more information. And then it would you know, load some transactions. Um, and I'll have the, the op options here to add or swap and really takes me back to the same screen, um, as well as swap would take me to the swap screen here. If I go to here, I can go to transactions and have a look at my transaction. As you can see, I swap some rune and then I've added liquidity into a liquidity pool here. And if I really want to, I can have a look at the transaction within the Binance Explorer. Right, so that's it. I hope you found that um, quick walkthrough helpful on how you can uh, swap and stake and withdraw assets within BepSwap. If you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and put any feedback in the comments below. I'll be interested to hear what you have to say. Thanks until next time. Bye.